Hello and welcome to Three Hidden Gems of the Central Coast. I'm Dave Mapstone. Before we start, I just wanted to let you know that I've put Google Map links to each of the locations in the description below. If you find this video useful or helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks. Our first location is the Warra Lookout on the Warra Trick Trail at the Brisbane Water National Park. The entrance to the Warra Lookout is located on the southern end of Patonga Drive just as the speed drops from 80 to 60 as you're heading south. Here you'll reach a dirt road. You'll need to follow this for approximately 800 metres to the end of the road where you'll reach a sealed car park. Once you arrive at the car park, you will need to follow the Tony Doyle Trail for 500 metres to get to the lookout. This is a very easy walk with a well-maintained path. Once you arrive, you'll be greeted by panoramic views of the Hawkesbury River to the Palm Beach Lighthouse. This is an absolutely amazing spot to sit and watch the sunset. Next up is Ironbark Falls of Mangrove Mountain. Ironbark Falls is located on Ironbark Road, Mangrove Mountain. Once you get to Ironbark Road, the track's approximately 900 metres on the right. Keep an eye out for the sign. I managed to drive past numerous times. You'll need to walk between a property and the bush for about five minutes. You should see a waterfall sign and an information hut on your left hand side. Pass the information hunt and continue following the path. You'll see an old picnic table on the right hand side. Keep following the path straight. And now you should be able to well and truly hear the waterfall. You're only minutes away. As you make your way down to the waterfall, you'll find the last 50 to 70 metres are a little bit slippery. Watch your footing. Well done, you've made it. Now time to sit down, relax, and take in the sounds and views of the waterfall. Our final location is Blackwell Mountain, giving you stunning views over Edelong and Eumina. This walk starts at the end of Bayview Crescent, Blackwell. Be mindful there's only room for a couple of cars to park here. The walk is an easy to moderate uphill climb takes around 20 minutes. Follow the fire trail past the water tank and to the peak of the mountain. Once you get to the forking section, keep left as both lookouts are located in this direction. There are actually two lookouts up here. For the purpose of this video, I'll take you to the far lookout first and show you the second one later. There's a blue signpost along the trail which will show you the right direction for both lookouts. The second lookout is easily found if you hug all the trails to the left when returning from the first lookout. I really like this lookout and it would be best to visit if you were going with small children. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.